Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Smishing attacks are also called SMS phishing attacks. SMS stands for short message service, or simply text messaging. By disguising themselves as a trustworthy organization in a text message, smishing hackers try to get your personal or financial information. Smishing attacks have increased dramatically since 2019. Here are some examples of smishing attacks I got on my cell phone in the past two months. This one uses Amazon. Smishing scammers or hackers love to use Amazon because it is easier to target millions of victims. Who doesn't use Amazon nowadays? The text says we found there's a suspicious login attempt on your account. They use scare you tactics to get you to click the link or download the attachment or both. The second example uses Amazon too, but this time they use the shipping address as a bait. If you click the link, and you will see Amazon login page, which is the bait, and it look looks real. If you enter your login information like username and password, and submit the login page, boom. All information will go to the hacker's computer. This one uses the same tricks, but use U.S. post postal service instead. This one, this example, use uh, uses same tricks but more general, thus tricking more people. And this one I got from Wells Fargo Bank. As a matter of fact, I got nothing in the bank. And joke is on the hacker. Besides, there's many other types of smishing attacks, like you are qualified for COVID-19 stimulus checks, or you got a big prize, or you got a scary notice, a lawsuit filing against you, and you name it. Just like any other types of phishing attacks, smashing hackers or scammers. Use the same social engineer tricks, either too exciting or too good to be true, or very scary, very urgent, and you want to address or solve the problem immediately. That's what the hackers want you to do. There is a saying, "Never say never," but here are four never tips to help defend against smishing attacks. Never respond to texts from unknown numbers. And never share sensitive personal or financial information by text. And never click any links in a text message unless you absolutely know. Never expect any U.S. government agencies to text you. To help your cell phone company to fight against scam text messages, you can forward these messages to seven seven two six. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.